This is a review for a saw kit that just arrived. Um, there's 10 drill bits in here. Very nice case that it's in. Look, pretty cool, huh? Tell me, I'm really pumped. My husband has just gone out to the barn to go get a piece of wood so that we'll be able to drill and show you about it. And I have some information here about this that I'll just talk to you while I'm looking at it. Um, it's made from high quality metal. This is a uh, tungsten carbide tipped cutters. Um, high grade titanium plated cemented carbide tooth. You can read all of this on the link that I'm putting below. You're gonna be able to read more about it. And you can use it suitable for stainless steel, metal, iron, plastic, aluminum, glass, steel, and other metals. Suitable for, for a, you use it with a rechargeable electric drill. And obviously we're out in the middle of nowhere in the Ozarks, it's beautiful here, and we're gonna get a lot of use out of this. Um, I really like them. I think it's, they're very well made. They look great. What I'm gonna do in the first one, I'm, I'm just telling you a little bit about it. There's gonna be two videos. The second video we're gonna actually show you when we're using it. And these, come on here, here buddy, there you go. This tells you the different sizes that comes with it so you'll know what we're doing. And I really, I like the case that it comes in so that you can put it away, put a little sticker on it so it knows that this is our case. <laughs> um, we've got other people using our barn too. Um, it's a simple packaging. It includes uh, wrenches and drill bits. Each bit, yes, they're already oiled. That prevents rust in it. And uh, anyway, uh, when you get it, what you want to do is online is you, you want to go read about it first. And I printed it out. So it tells you exactly what to do. If you, you print it out, you've got it right there. You do need to use a lubricant with it to ensure uh, clean and smooth cuts. And it's going to actually prolong the life of it. Um, you want to make sure you're going to cut straight up and down. You don't want to twist it because you can leave that will cause damage and overheating um, and then clean it when you're putting it away of course but the very first thing you can do is choose the size you're going to be using and we're going to be cutting wood today um, we actually that's our garden out there we're going to be using for that now I'm going to stop doing this one and we're going to get it ready to go and then I'm going to link the first video to the second video so you can see it in action 